chapter three, lesson nine. Hannah has a three and three hundred thirty three and thirty six hundred kilograms of apples and two and twenty eight kilograms of oranges. Hannah estimates she has about one more kilogram of apples than oranges. How many kilograms of apples than oranges does Hannah have? How can you use this estimate to decide if your answer is reasonable? So first of all, we need to decide what operation we will use to solve the problem. So which operation are we going to use to solve the problem? Subtraction. Subtraction. Circle Hannah's estimate to check that your answer is reasonable. So what was her estimate? Okay, so one more kilogram, right? So subtract the hundreds first. If there are not enough hundreds, regroup to regroup one tenth as ten hundreds. So, um, can you take eight from six? No. no. So this becomes a sixteen, and the three becomes a two. two. Can we take two from two? Yes. yes. So that is fine. And then can we take two from three? Yes. yes. So what is our very first step we do, guys? What did we learn yesterday? Bring down the decimal. Bring the decimal down first. So 16 minus 8 is what? 8. eight. Two minus two is? Zero. Three minus two is? One. So how many hundreds did we have? Eight. How much? Well, how much did we have to regroup with? Sixteen hundred minus eight hundred got us eight hundred. And then how many tenths did we have? Two. We have two tenths minus two tenths equals zero. zero. And then we had how many ones? Three, Three ones minus two ones equals one one. one. Now we're gonna draw a quick picture of our work like we did um, in previous lessons, right? Okay with the base 10 blocks. So how many um, flats do I need? Three. Three. Okay, how many tenths do I need? Three. Three. And how many hundredths do I need? Six. Six. Okay, and now we have to take Two and twenty-eight hundredths away. Do we have enough hundredths to take away eight? No. No. So we have to cross off one of our tenths and make how many more hundredths? Mm -hmm. Ten. All right. So now, do we have enough hundredths? Yes. yes. Do we have enough tenths? Yes. Do we have enough ones? Yes. Yes. Okay, so how many hundredths do I mark off? Eight. Eight. How many tenths do I mark off? Two. Two. So the last two I have remaining. And then how many ones or flats? Two. Two. All right. How many ones do I have? One. One. And then I put my decimal, right? How many tenths do I have? Or how many longs do I have? Zero. Zero. And how many small cubes? Eight. Or hundreds? Eight. So Hannah has one and eight hundredths more kilograms of apples than oranges. Since one and eight hundredths is close to one, the answer is reasonable. Okay, go ahead and turn your page once you have that right. Since subtraction and addition are inverse operations, you can check subtraction by adding. Find the difference. Subtract the hundreds first and subtract the tenths, ones, and tens. Regroup as needed. Okay. So, they originally started with 14 and 2 tenths, but do they have the same number of place values? No. No. So, what do they have to put there to hold their spot? Zero. A zero. Okay. So, you put a zero there. Now, can I take 3 from zero? No. 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 So, this becomes a 10. 
Missy comes up. A one. Can I take six from one? No. no. So this becomes an 11. This becomes a three. Can I take eight from three? No. no. So this becomes a 13. And this becomes a zero. Okay. What do I do first? What is my first step when I deal with decimals? Bring down the decimal. Bring down the decimal. Now, the only time you're not going to do that is when you multiply with decimals, okay? Otherwise, when you add, subtract, or even divide with decimals, you will do the decimal first, okay? 10 minus 3 is? 7. Seven. 11 minus 6 is? 5. 13 minus 8 is? 5. Five. And then I don't have to bring down my zero, right? Mm -hmm. So what is my answer? Okay, so they said our difference. So difference is the answer to a subtraction. subtraction problem. So we're going to use what we just thought, right? So 5 and 57 hundredths. Now what do I have to make sure I do, guys, when I'm going to go over here to add? To line up the numbers. <coughs> to line up the decimals, right? So all my place values are in order, okay? So 7 plus 3 is, oh, what did I forget to do? Bring down the decimal. Bring down my decimal first, right? So 7 plus 3 is what? 10. Ten. 10. So I put a 0, carry the 1. 1 plus 5 plus 6 is? 12. 12. Put a 2, carry the 1. 1 plus 5 plus 8 is? 14. 14. So does 14 and 20 hundredths match what we got over here? Yeah. Or what we started with over there? Okay. So is your answer correct? Yes. yes. So yes. Yes, because what? Or why? Because, because we check the answer. We, check we use yes because we used our difference. We used our difference to add to the original. number and got the same answer. All right, so these are going to be just like yesterday's, only they are subtraction, yeah. right? Okay, so remember, each one of these will be worth four points if they have the estimate, okay, because you have to show your work on Estimation, you have to show your work on the original problem, and then of course you'll get a point for each answer. All right? So, 5 and 83 hundredths, what are we going to round that to? 6. 6 minus 2 and 18 hundredths, we're going to estimate 2. 2. 2. So, 6 minus 2 equals 4. 4. Now, can I take 8 from 3? No. 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 So, this becomes. 13. 13. And then the 8 becomes 7. 7. Can I take 1 from 7? Yeah. Yes. Can I take 2 from 5? Yeah. So are we done regrouping? Yes. yes. Now what do I do first? Bring down the decimal. Bring down the decimal. 13 minus 8 is? 5. 5. 7 minus 1 is? 6. 5 minus 2 is? 3. So is 3 and 65 hundredths close to 4? Yes. yes. Okay. Next one. 4 and 45 hundredths. What would we round that to? 4. 4. Because the 4 is lower than 5, right? 1 and 86 hundredths. 2. 2 because the 8 is 5 or higher. So 4 minus 2 is? 2. 2. All right, can I take 6 from 5? No. So this becomes a 15. The 4 becomes a 3. Can I take 8 from 3? No. No. So the 13 or the 3 becomes a 13. 13 and the 4 becomes a 3. 
Hey, what's the first thing I do? Bring down the decimal. Bring down the decimal. So 15 minus 6 is? 9. nine. Thirteen minus eight is five. Three minus one is two. So is two in fifty nine hundredths close to two? Yes. Yes. So our answer is two. correct. Okay. All right. Four and three hundredths. We would estimate two. Four <coughs> minus two and twenty five hundredths. We'd estimate two. 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 So 4 minus 2 equals 2. 8. Can I take 5 from 3? No. 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 So this becomes a 13. 13. This becomes a 9. And since we clearly had to borrow, the 4 becomes a 3. What do I do first? Put my decimal, right? 13 minus 5 is? Eight, eight, eight. eight. Nine minus two is seven. 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 Three minus two is one. one. So is one in seventy-eight hundredths close to two? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. They want to find the difference and check your answer. So these will be worth four points, right? Show your work, find your answer, and then you have to add your answer to your original number or to your original subtraction problem and see if you get the same answer. Okay? Mm -hmm. So the zero becomes a <laughs> ten. The seven becomes a six. six. Do I need any more regrouping? No. No. So I bring down that decimal. So ten minus three is seven. seven. 6 minus 4 is 2. two. And then I bring down my zero. 0. So now what am I going to do to check it, guys? 43 plus 27. So 4300 plus 2700. What do I do first? Bring down my decimal. 3 plus 7 is 10. Put a 0, carry the 1. 1 plus 4 plus 2 is? Seven. Seven. So does that equal my original answer? Yes. Yes. Okay. Now we have 13 and 2 tenths minus 8 and 4 hundredths. What do we need to do so we have the all of the same place values? Add a zero. Add a zero to the end to hold our place. So can I take 4 from 0? No. No. So this becomes a 10. 10. This becomes a 1. So, can I take 0 from 1? Yes. But can I take 8 from 3? No. So, what does that 3 become? 13. A 13. And this 1 becomes a 0. zero. What do I do first? Put Ten. my decimal. Uh, let's see. 10 minus 4 is? 6. six. 1 minus 0 is? Four. 13 minus 8 is? 5. All right. Now, what am I going to do? Five and six and hundreds plus eight and four hundred. Okay, so bring down my decimal. Six plus four is ten. Carry the one. One plus one is two. two. Five plus eight is so thirteen and twenty hundreds. Does that equal what I got the first time? Yes. Yes. 